to the YouTube channel back for the next episode of Ted Lasso Season 1, Episode 8. Hope you're all doing well. Spoilers ahead, of course. And let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on the reviews, the episodes. If you're enjoying Ted Lasso, obviously, if you haven't checked it out, do go check it out on Apple TV+. Plus. All two seasons, plus the new season of Season 3. I think the first two episodes are available, so do go check them out when you can. We are flying through these episodes, and of course, if you're enjoying it, be sure to recommend some other TV shows down below that you're a fan of that I'm not yet reviewed on this channel. Be sure to check out the TV show playlist if you don't know what's been reviewed. Of course, if you do want to just suggest anything, I'll let you know if it's already been on the channel. And I'll get around to it at some point. Thanks for watching as always. Enjoy the video. So, the aftermath of um, Liverpool, the Everton game... Ted has obviously slept with Sassy, and a boss lady in Re uh, Rebecca has slept with the barman. <laughs> Cheeky buggers, no uh, Yeah, it's really good, though, because obviously we're dealing with two characters who are very much alone at this moment in time. You know, Sassy's sort of just been floating around, and she, had, she immediately was attracted to Ted. Ted going through his divorce, I think he just needed something to make him relaxed. Um, and of course... Uh, Rebecca's been wanting to get out of there for some time. So I think after, you know, everything she's sort of been through, you know, being in Liverpool, dealing with Keeley, seeing Keeley with Roy, dealing with the gala a few episodes ago, I think she's just wanted to get a bit out of the system. And I think it's really good to see these two characters on the up and high. And obviously to see Sass. I think Sass is a nice character, you know, a good character that's just been included. Something just to be thrown in there that I think two adults can just be like, Ted is just a genuinely nice person. The way he woke her up and just dealt with it really nice, giving her a coffee, giving her a late um, checkout, that sort of stuff. It's a, it's amazing to see the little things that make Ted Lasso an even better character, and it's just fantastic in that way. But we do have to talk about Keely doing the thing that she probably shouldn't have done. Because she felt that Roy declined her, she went ahead and slept with Jamie in this episode and has a full-on conversation with Roy later in the episode. And then they, they go back and forth about this. Should they do X, Y, and Z? Should they date or should they not? And obviously, they do end up dating. So I'm glad that was sort of resolved pretty quick. But again, Keely should take ownership of stop going back and forth. Is it Jamie? Is it Roy? Who will she choose in the long haul? Yes, this episode, she does fully choose Roy. But will she change her mind in the future? I hope not. Again, we'll have to wait and see if she has second thoughts. But ultimately, I think Roy is a better person. She's, I think they're actually similar age. Jamie is always, I think it's like 23, I think she said. And I think Keely's pushing 30. Roy's probably mid-30s. So again, it's, it's older or younger. So again... I think Roy's the better person. He's a very angry person, but I think he becomes Ross as a more genuine person and better fit for Keely. But again, again, we'll have to wait and see if it actually fits out for the remainder of the series. <clears throat> Another thing that also, you know, Anthony had always a pleasure to see him on screen. You know, he was in uh, Doctor Who when I first came across him. He was in between us for the odd episode slash in the movie. Uh, but again, he was terrific in this as Rupert, you know, he bought the shares in the club and the way Ted and himself out tried to outsmart each other was absolutely brilliant. Dart's team, Dart's, Dart's game came to this episode, uh, you know, try to swindle £10,000 or, you know, lose your space in the box because of the shares he bought from the Milk Sisters. I loved how Ted was throwing the darts with his right hand and then Anthony Head pulls out, you know, his darts and he's like, he's just... He's just fool Ted. And then Ted goes, I'm left-handed. So it's like they both tricked each other to swindle this deal from happening. I love how this relationship with Ted and Rebecca has evolved over the series. It's been truly fantastic. It's been truly entertaining. And you can see how much Ted cares about her, about the club, and about everyone involved. Every single person he comes across, it just fits right. It just works in his way. And the way he beats <coughs> the way he beats him. Um, in the dark match, telling this wonderful story after speaking to, uh, I think her name's May. I, I think she's a brilliant character as well. Annette Badlin, brilliant. Obviously, I know her from Doctor Who, and she's been in like, Midsummer Murders and whatnot. I think she's a great addition to the cast because she's just always at the bar. You know, you have the three fans who just make consecutive appearances. And I think the fact that they're all there to support him, to see him win Rebecca, the freedom from uh, Rupert, I think was absolutely brilliant. It was just a really cool episode for those two, I think. 
Um, so, yeah, but obviously on the flip side, a lot of stuff happened towards the end that sort of backfires what sort of person she is. Yes, she's dealt with Rupert. Yes, she's got into the habits of what she's done in this series because of Rupert. And she faces the the repercussions from Higgins. He ends up getting fired or quits at the same time, depending on which way you look at it, because he decided to stand up against her because, you know, she want, he wanted her to do right. Even though he did wrong things in the, back, in the past for Rupert, he wanted better for her so she would have a better outlook on ta- Ted, the club and everything. And I loved it. I love how much he stood up against her because she's not evil. She just wants to get Rupert back and every she has every right. But of course, she's using the wrong people who are doing very good by her. And of course, it goes even worse because during this episode when Roy and Healy are on a date, they managed to get this card from the camera and obviously it completely backfires when it has a picture that she told Higgins to take of uh, Ted and Keely early in the series. So it goes full circle. She'll be exposed in the future to Ted unless she does, um, if she doesn't clean, then Keely would do it. So one way or another, he will find out about everything. So it's going to be a very intriguing last two episodes, you know, with him leaving with the picture, stuff going back into the whole picture. Roy and Keeley, what is there to be? Will they be officially a couple? Will they, will they stay consistent together? Uh, and of course, where will Rupert pop up again? But altogether, it's been a fantastic uh, season so far. Episode 8 was fantastic. Another episode that delivered on all fronts. A big episode for Roy and Keeley. And of course, um, will we see Jamie more? Or will this be one of his final appearances with Keeley and in the show? Again, we'll have to wait and see for episode 9 and 10. Hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and I'll be back soon with the final two episodes of season one. Until next time, goodbye.